Hey yo, what's up guys, it's Blizz Video and today in this video, this is episode 2 of gaining 100 levels in Treasure Quest and let's get into it, into the video. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe guys, because guys, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. You guys know the drill, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And uh, yeah, but today we actually are just doing another, actually this is our second one, our second level 1 to 100 video. Now, oh, you, ever since the first video, you guys really like this, I constantly got people saying, do another episode, do another episode, and it's, uh, I think it's been less than a week here. And yeah, so we're going to go here, get our wheel, because maybe, you know, we can get ourselves an ultimate. On, before we get one on our main account, that would be fantastic. I don't think that's gonna work out. Another level that? Not bad. So we're also gonna go over here to this daily reward thing, as always. And, okay, well actually that suits the egghead thing. <laughs> kinda suits for what's, for, since, you know, it's almost Easter and all that kinda stuff. That's kinda cool. Um, I just realized, we have 165,000 coins, and I think that's gonna help us um, get up a lot more. What is the weapon that we actually use? I don't know why I upgraded the other thing when I actually use this this other helmet here. I, I, I guess I should have known that beforehand. But yeah, for those of you who do not know, this is basically a series where we try to go level 1 to 100 using absolutely no Robux and doing no trades whatsoever. This series is kind of meant to help out the average person that's really just trying to level up. And the, the best thing, event, the best advantage about this is that we're leveling up fast without any trades and without like using our main account. So this is completely doable by other people again if you want to check out my first video i'll probably make a list of all the possible codes in treasure quest at some point to gain levels let me know if you guys want to see that video so i can list all like the xp potion codes and stuff like that but we're actually going to go ahead into our bank here and put the items that we're not using so we can actually probably put all of those guys can i put my wooden sword no i can't as well as these things so we're just gonna put anything that we're not currently using that way um, we can get more items from dungeons because you know that helps out but anyway guys we were actually doing a bunch of rounds with some other people and as you can see we got ourselves some actual good loot and we actually leveled up to level 54 as we did that so that's pretty cool so let's take a look at this candy hunter here see if it's anything we can actually use so it's gotta be better than 2.24 and Wow, okay, so that's a lot better, and it's our level. So this is going to help out quite a lot when we do our dungeons. As you can see, we're like ultra noob now. We look we look overpowered, like look at this. But yeah, okay. So we do a lot more damage thanks to our head. Uh, <laughs> our head. But uh, we also have to get a new... Okay, so it looks right here that we have ourselves a better item to use. And I think so. Okay, about just a little bit. So yeah, this is going to help out a little bit. We've got the whole like amethyst kind of purple theme going on with our little noob character. But yeah, we're halfway to level 100. Actually, more than halfway to level 100 at this point. So we're actually doing pretty good. I think we unlocked ourselves a new dungeon while doing that. So Sinister Sewers. Um, we're not going to go straight into Sinister Sewers. We're probably going to go back to Candyland for a little bit. And we're going to do a dungeon with you guys. So I want to give you guys some sort of tactics. Uh, to help use while you're going through dungeons because uh, aside from using these potions which you cannot see I might have already used them all up I don't know if I have um, but I was using all those potions to get you know better items luck potion XP potion and again let me know if you guys want a video where I just it's only about all the the possible codes you can get but yeah we're gonna go into a round now the best thing to do even if you are level level is get like a friend that is higher level or just get in a dungeon that someone is possibly carrying because doing endless dungeons with someone that's even like maybe 30 levels higher than you which is not a lot you can find a lot of verity in levels in this game and there's often a lot of nice people that will help carry just say hey just say something like hey you want to play some rounds with me i'm trying to level up or something like that i mean begging people for you to carry them i've seen that a lot it does not work out too well most of the time they just get annoyed so again, with our new items, we're actually doing pretty well in our top in this dungeon. Now, I wanted to point out, I think I made a point before to say always go for the highest level dungeon you possibly can go for your level. And I'm actually going to not re recommend that at this point anymore because 
going to the highest level dungeon possible, especially when you don't have someone to grind with, is extremely hard to do, it's time consuming, and most of the time, you don't even reach the boss, which does not help. So I'm going to recommend any level, maybe 10 or 15 levels down from your, from your best level, so that way you can go through these a lot faster and more efficiently. I also want to point out that even if you think you could go through a dungeon by yourself, like as the same level as you are, most of the time you can't, because there's mini bosses. It depends which one you get, but like a brute is really annoying to deal with if you have to, you know, like swipe at them with a sword multiple times. Or uh, definitely obsidians, because obsidians, you know, they take away about 80% of your health, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, halfway. I think last video we were at. I don't even remember what we were at. I think we were at like 20-ish when we last started. For those of you who don't know, we did do a live stream, you know, going up and higher and higher. So if you guys want to, you know, tune into those live streams, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you get notified for that stuff. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one over and out.